There are many lessons that we derive from Yaakov Avinu in this week's parish of Ayishlach, and especially in the context of his confrontation with Esau. I'd like to focus on one particular dimension. Vayachatz es ha-machne. He splits the machna into two. And the Pesach says, V'hoya ha-machna nisha lefleta. And this is symbolic, says Rabbi Nosan, of our battle and our striving. Very often, we hit a very difficult period in which after preparing, after aspiring, we have great dreams and we have programs that we want to achieve. And we realize we haven't even reached the half of it. You know, the forces that try to pull us down make us feel like... um, a sense of despair. But we always have to see the other half of the machna, you know, the cup that's half full, not the half empty, to realize what we have accomplished, to focus on our good and our sense of who we are. And we thank Hashem, we have so many mitzvahs and we fulfill them and we have great aspirations. Focus on that which you've achieved and let that be a springboard for going further and further. And then Yaakov Avinu, in the same context, says, Revach tosimu bein eder li eder, a separation between one flock and the other. There are moments of time where we are suffering, whether it's physical or psychological anguish, and we feel like we're all the way down. We can't daven, we can't reach Hashem, chas v'shom. And revach, find within every sorrow and every challenge, every difficulty, a revach. Revach means spaces. And during this period that we're facing, we have to find those spaces between one sorrow and the other, focus on those spaces. He wrote, and if we do this, we follow in the footsteps of Yaakov, you know, bizochem, ritz Hashem, to the simcha that will reach and achieve the Yeshua for Klal Yisrael. Kenya Ratzon Omein. Thank you and Shavuot